Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now before we get today's video, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Just, just get right into it. Leave, let's just go ahead and try to aim for 50 likes on today's video. If you guys can do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe down below. We have just hit 2,000 subscribers. 2,000 subscribers, I'm so sorry for butchering that. But if you guys haven't seen my Skeleton Farm video, or if I haven't posted yet, if this is the first one I post, I haven't decided yet, thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. We are on our way to 5K very, very fast, hopefully quicker than that. Hopefully we hit 5K by like the end of October, because the end of October is my birthday, so that'd be a great birthday present. Go ahead and tell your friends, tell your family, I want that for my birthday. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and make a Trident Farm today. Now... You're going to make a trident farm with a zombie spawner. Now, I didn't know this was possible. I've seen a video over it, but he wasn't able to get it to work. But he got the trident to actually, like, work. But his spawner, or his spawn, not his spawner, but, like, his mob farm is really messed up. And I can fix it, but I want to make my own video about it because, I mean, I can, I can fix it right here. So, I actually uh, was recording and i was not recording i thought i did but i wasn't so what we're going to do is you're going to simply dig out a nine by nine room so i'm going to go ahead and walk walk you through this and you're going to dig two below so i'm going to walk you through this because i already did it on accident but i'm going to go ahead and show you right now okay so how we're going to actually do this is we're going to go ahead and find the center of the room which is obviously going to be the mob spawner correct so now your room's not going to look like this it's probably going to be like a a three by two by three by two room it's gonna look something like this so where there's only two torches and there's three and there's probably two and there's three right here right so that's probably your layout of your room now you want to go ahead and make it where your whole room is four torches in a cross just like this okay you want that look right there where it's four 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 and four in each direction now, another thing you want to do, you want to dig out that big room, and you want a two-block gap above the spawner, but go ahead and leave the blocks on the spawner so nothing can spawn and stand there. So, um, other than all the or those two things, sorry, you want to also dig two blocks down below the spawner so it gives them the maximum spawning space of this 9x9 nine nine room. Now, you guys can go ahead and pause the video and do all that. Um, just a recap, make sure you go four torches in each direction. Those are just markers so you guys know you're doing it right. Then dig down two blocks below the spawner, two blocks above, two or three blocks above, um, and then place blocks above the spawner. Now, go ahead and do that and um, go ahead and come back to the video because I'm going to start the next part right here. So, after all that is said and done, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these torches right quick because they're going to get in my way and I won't like that. Okay, so boom okay easy as f cake okay so now what we're going to do is you're going to choose a direction where you want your zombies to actually travel with the water current you know pushing them to a certain spot so they can eventually fall to the kill chamber now we're, we are going to simply push them i'm saying this way right so we're going to push them this way now i already have this dug out so it should be this block right here yeah okay so you want to dig down one block right just a one by one little hole right here on one side of the uh, one side of the room. Now all this is going to do is just create it where you're going to set water sources on this far back wall. It's going to push and it won't run over, but I'll run to the actual um, one by one hole. So I'm going to place water in each of the corners right here, and then to figure out where you want to actually have your uh, zombies travel, you're going to go. You're going to count four blocks from here, and it'll be the fifth block. But an easier way to find it. Is very 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 simple you want to find your moth spawner go to the back wall over here find your moth spawner and just look forward and then just go down um, right in front of you and it'll be the fifth block from the left or right it's the middle of the room so how we're gonna set up this area right here very 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 simple you're going to simply let the water run two blocks in you're going to actually dig one two three four blocks inside of the um, wall here your water will run three blocks you're going to place two signs one two then you're going to put a ice block down below that because it's going to have the zombies actually lose traction and go ahead and keep sliding into the water current that we're going to have running all the way up here and then you're going to want to go ahead and put a soul stand block right here so um air bubbles will travel will make them will be forcing them to travel upwards so they'll eventually fall to your kill chamber so 
after all that's said and done, right, you pause the video, you've done it all. So now it's the very last part. I'm going to walk you guys through this part. Very, very simple. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and place our water block up here. You only need one. Most people get this really, really confused where you need like four or five. And it's going to make the zombies get buttered up, buttered up. What the heck? Bunched up and not able to fall through your moss spawner. So to figure this all out, you want to place your water source block not here but you want to place it right here so it pushes you this way and it also lets the water fall now you have to give it a few seconds for the actual air bubbles to come up so you know it's working now if you take a look you see air bubbles coming up very very swiftly and there you go air bubbles come up so that means that it is working that zombies will go to the flow of water come up shoot up right here and they will be forced this way so now to figure this out, we're going to go ahead and go down 23 blocks from this block right here. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Now, to go ahead and do this, we're going to dig out this part. Now, remember, we are going to be setting up the water feature for um, this build actually so let's go ahead and dig out all these so that is the 23rd block right there i'm gonna go ahead and leave that there boom 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 let's go ahead and get all this out the way so how we're gonna do this is very 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 simple okay guys so i had to make a cut there i'm sorry but i had to figure out exactly where you have to put it because i forgot there's baby zombies in this game that come from the actual moth spawner themselves so we're gonna place this it's gonna go up um, you're going to place a half slab. So remember that's one block, two block, three block. You're going to build in, you're going to actually knock out that wall and you're going to place a block here. Now don't, for, don't forget to fill in this area. Come all the way down to where this is the only thing you see because now the zombies will fall in a three block high water. And you remember, zomb I keep saying you remember and I'm sorry, but zombies will not sp swim up through water unless there's actually air bubbles pushing them up. Because um, they can be turned into the drown. I don't know why they made that little transition through zombies doing that. But it does happen. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it on uh, normal whenever I get back to the spawner. And I'm going to show you guys that it actually works. So I'll be back in two seconds. Okay guys, so all I did was I basically dug out a tunnel to go ahead and get to my kill chamber. It's right down here. Very, very simple. Boom, right here. So... Let's go ahead and test this out. Now I'm going to let it run for about 10 to 15 minutes so I can get a good clump of uh, trident down, or not trident, um, drowned zombies on there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. Let me go ahead and turn off my alarm on my phone. Pause it, cancel it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down here and see how many um, drowned that we actually have in this little spawner. And as you can see, they are all drowned, actually, which is amazing to see. Let's go ahead and grab our sword. Stone sword. Very, very simple. Let's drink this up right quick. And let's go ahead and kill them all. Let's see. Let's see if we get any tridents from this. There's some zombies I haven't turned yet because they probably just recently fell down, which is okay. Let's see if we get anything out of this besides just XP. Oh, there's a helmet. I don't know if we'll get any trident because that is a rare drop, but, I mean, there's a possibility. We guys got a shell, I think, or a potato, and that's it. Yeah, so as, as you guys can see, they do transfer over into Drown, and it does work. So this is a very good source of unlimited tridents. Um, I don't know what kind of shells they're called, but those little shells uh, that you need for, I don't really know what it's for. I haven't really played Minecraft that much lately, but you do need those shells. Um, very, very, uh, you need you need quite a bit of them for a few things. So, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new, and comment down below if you guys are new. Say new, I will heart it, like it, and reply back. But, until next time, everybody, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.